so. Okay. Where are you from? I'm from Athens, Georgia. What was your first break? Um, probably, like, I, I did a little work, but mostly it was Shameless. I did that in 2011, I think, is when it started. Maybe 2009. I think it started in 2009, actually. What have you been in? Um, I've been in Shameless, obviously. Uh, I have a movie, Rings, coming out, and I was just in 20th Century Women, and just a lot of, like, a recurred on the Tomorrow People, but it only lasted one season, so say I love you. <laughs> How do you feel about this career? I think it really, uh, it really challenges a lot of different aspects because it really brings out like it lets you know exactly what you love at first but then like if you don't like something you have to stick with it and figure it out so I feel like it makes you really uh, have to be a good improviser and like take things as they come at you because you don't know what's gonna happen one day or the next. <laughs> How did you decide to become an actor? I was just always kind of that kid is like kind of talking to themselves and putting on costumes like my mom would get me ready for school and she'd be like take this costume off you can't wear this to school and then we'd have a huge temper tantrum and I don't know 20 years later here we are um, and I'm still like that you know but I get paid for it sometimes how would you describe your specialty or type um, I so far have been really good with the kind of dramatic stuff, you know, like, uh, I've played a lot of, like, bad moms, like, bad teenage moms, or, like, wayward daughters, so, um, which is definitely kind of, like, the antithesis, because I was always, like, mama's, like, little angel and always really sweet, you know, so now my family's like, where did this side of you come from? Who is your favorite actor who you look up to? Oh, there's so many. I mean, I love Charlize Theron so much because she's gorgeous and came from so many hard times, you know, but pretty much anyone who has made it past a certain point in this industry, I'm like, especially a level of fame, you're like, they just deal with so much that they're kind of all people I look up to. What would your ideal job be? Uh, you know, I think about this a lot. An ideal job would be one where... I can just kind of do whatever I want, whenever I want. But like a professional type, I don't know, I could get into like therapy. I like, you know, like therapists and psychology. Do you consider yourself to be lucky? Uh, I definitely do. I think I'm very blessed. I have a really good family. Um, they're really supportive. And then um, I've definitely had a lot of good timing out here. What advantages do you have? Um, my advantages, like I said, my parents, you know, not everyone's parents, like, kind of help to uh, support them when they move out to L.A. A lot of people are just on their own, and so I was lucky in that they were always right behind me. And then, um, you know, I've just really been able to, like, out of all the education they've given me, and um, like I didn't go to college, but all the stuff they taught me, I've been able to really build off of that. So it's helped me with like different coping mechanisms, and getting like LLCs started when you have to do like real life stuff, you know, taxes. <laughs> Would you rather have a car or a diploma? I think I'd rather have, I mean, high school diploma seems kind of important. Like a high school diploma? Or like just a diploma? Is there a college diploma? I don't know. I guess a car, because I didn't even go to college, so. And I still have a car, so. Still picking that one. <laughs> what do you think about the need for instant gratification? Uh, I feel like instant gratification is, like, so awesome and it feels so awesome but then it's also really numbing because if you keep getting instant gratification then you feel like everything is so easy and you don't like understand how difficult what you just accomplished is so when you do have to accomplish something difficult again then you know you're like why is this so hard and so then it makes it harder the next time around <laughs> how do you feel about how interconnected the world is becoming uh, I've really enjoyed it in a lot of ways. Sometimes it's scary because you can have like, you know, people from different countries interfering with things. But 
you also, I also feel like I get a lot more information about it, like what people are like in a certain area, so it doesn't create as much room for bias against people. What does the future look like to you? Oh, man. I mean, I think that we're just gonna kind of, I mean, like for me personally, it's probably just gonna be a lot more dogs, like, you know, I'll probably always have dogs and always want to, I don't know, <laughs> I'm like, what will the future be like? But I, you know, I think that people are having like a huge uh, disagreement, so I'm kind of hoping that in the next couple years it'll actually start bringing them together and they'll see how similar what they're arguing over is, but we'll see. How do you feel about having children? I love kids and probably not in the next couple years, but eventually, yes. <laughs> What challenges do you feel the world is facing today? Um, we definitely have uh, um, kind of like a lot of different biases against each other right now. And sometimes people are really quick to judge what they think people are thinking of them and what they, you know, all these different thoughts. So I think that we've got to get over the fact that like everyone's out to get us and start realizing that everyone's just out to like usually just preserve their area and they don't want to hurt anyone else. What are you most grateful for? Um, God, that's a good question. I don't really think about which I'm most grateful for. But I'm really grateful that um, that I've kind of like had a you know optimistic spirit in my family where like they've always taught me that even if you're just completely feeling down and you want to give up like don't you know and that I have that ability to just keep going when sometimes I don't want to keep going. What is your favorite way to communicate? Hmm. Person to person. Yeah. What is your favorite book, film, and music right now? My favorite music right now is like, I've really been into Avid Brothers. You know, everyone has that stage, I guess. <laughs> and then, um, as far as books, I've really gotten into Con Marie, you know, life changing magic of tidying, where you like ask things if they bring you joy. <laughs> but it's been, it's actually helped me declutter a little bit. And then, um, and the Brene Brown books, she's really good with like kind of like psychological things. And then movies, man, I just love so many movies. I love cartoons though. I like like the Miyazaki cartoons. I watch them over and over again. <laughs>